After finishing your AdCAD project, as it is a three-dimensional model, it can be seen from any viewpoint. In the screen, we can see that we only need to change the viewpoint in the Viewpoints toolbar to get the project view we want. In addition, our project can be seen in its plan representation or in a complete three-dimensional view. In the Floors and Views generation form, we can manage the display of the various floors of the project. Let's now see just the plan view of the first floor. There is a command that allows, by simply selecting an element of a floor, to disable that floor. The building can be seen by removing the hidden lines or in the shaded mode. In each of these modes, you can move using the 3D orbit to view the project from any viewpoint. AdCAD offers its camera objects, which appropriately parameterized, allow to display perspective views. As you can see, the opening angle and the angle referred to the XY plane are of great importance. The camera is then positioned in the drawing to the desired position. We then simply need to select the object to display the perspective view. The cameras can also be inserted inside the building. Let's put one in the room with the stairs, putting the viewpoint under the door. This will allow us to have a realistic view of interiors. Let's now see another important feature of AdCAD, the generation of views. Also in this case, the Preferences dialog box allows us to select a number of settings. For example, to activate or not the hatch of the section volumes. To generate the views, you use the GenView command. This command provides many options. To obtain the elevation of our project, we simply need to indicate the side with two points and the observation point. We will then be asked the point at the bottom left where to insert the view. Sometimes it may not be required to use all the original colours, so let's disable Use Coloured Layer checkbox. Let's then generate the south side elevation, specifying the side with two points and the observation point. Finally, we specify the insertion point of the view. Note that the views obtained are 2D line representations of the original three-dimensional model. Of course, we can always change the generating options or the original design, and with a simple click, we obtain the updated views. We now see how to get the section views of our project. AdCAD provides objects that define the planes of sections. The first that we are now seeing is a simple section plane. Let's change the value of the line length and insert the object in the point and with the angle at which we want to get the section. If you reply to the GenView command with Enter, it prompts you to select a section option. We then select it and indicate the insertion point of the section. That's all it takes to get the section. Let's now change some generating options in the dialog box. We disable the colour of the layers and activate the generation of hatches. We only need to update the view to obtain the desired result. Let's now add a new object. This is a section plane which can be tilted and swivelled freely. This object allows us to obtain the so-called isometric cross-sections. In fact, in the parameterization window, we modify the insertion level and the inclination angle. Still using the GenView command, we select the object of the inclined plane, observing the project from an isometric point of view. 
Here's the cross section that we wanted to achieve. Probably some manual intervention to clean the walls would be necessary, but the result is amazing. AdCAD also provides a section object with two section planes. We leave you to experiment this for yourself.